Hey folks, Bob here. Okay, many of you folks know I sell a lot of parts. Most of the parts I sell are not restored. I just park the cars out, in other words. So I don't know a lot about restoring a car. I know a lot about fixing up a car, you know, hot riding a car, totally different world. Saving a car, totally different world. Restoring a car, no, I don't know a lot about that. But I have been reading and seeing on the internet for years about taking oven cleaner to these old aluminum grills and aluminum trim and uh, cleaning it with that stuff. You spray it and I guess it does a pretty good job. It's not as good as polishing, but I guess it makes it look a lot better. And this is clearly one that came off. This is a 66 Plymouth Fury grill that I've tried to sell. I haven't gotten, well, I've gotten some bites, but you know, it is what it is. Grill's in nice shape of it, it's just filthy dirty. So what I thought I'd do as an experiment for YouTube and that you guys, it's just somebody like, like me who's just trying to fix up cars. I'm not a restorer, okay? We're just gonna spray this thing down with this easy off. It said that it needs to be warm. So it's warmed the oven, this is not an oven. So I'm gonna get my heat gun out and just kind of warm it up a little bit. And uh, then we'll hit it with that stuff there. And uh, I said let it set for three to five minutes and then hose it off. So that shouldn't be too big of a deal. So let me uh, let me get the heat gun out and I'm gonna, I'm gonna cover up this. And uh, cause I don't want it to damage that. It probably won't, but just to be sure. All right, folks, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, uh, the heat gun you know, won't get in it. It barely made a dent, and it's barely any warmer than the other side. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do half one side, half of it, and let you look and see how it comes out compared to the untreated side. So we got the easy off here. We're going to shake it up and uh, spray it down. And uh, see what how it does. Here it goes, folks. Get a good soaking. Ooh, that stuff stinks. Good Lord. There you go. All right, so we'll let that uh. We'll let that soak in, and uh, yeah, it's plenty left. So if you want to see how this turns out, you'll have to go to my YouTube channel, Bob's Classic Cars and Parts. The first part of this video we're posting on Facebook, maybe a couple other places. But to see the full video, how it, how it actually work, ended up working out, after I thought I'd head over there and wash it off here in a little bit, you'll have to do that, okay? All right, folks, be back in, I guess, three or four minutes. Okay, folks, uh, it's been about 10, 15 minutes, and uh, it's starting to dry. And I'm getting ready to hit it with a second coat. My shadow is in the way. I'm sorry. Good Lord. My bad. But I'm going to hit it with a second coat. Um, I took this little blue shop rag. You buy these local parts store all day long and just kind of wipe the little spot there while it was still a little wet probably did that when it was after about five minutes and I believe I can hit it with a second coat and then come across it with a scotch bright pad and I believe it's gonna be a dramatic improvement that's the plan I'm gonna hit it with a second coat let that second coat sink in for 10 20 minutes and then hit it with a scotch bright pad and then and uh, we'll see what we, where, we, where we're at Okay, folks, I don't know if you can tell. It's been a good 20 minutes. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can take this. And let's just, uh, oh yeah, that ain't working. So let's, uh, let's spray it down a little bit again. Cause that does seem to soften it up a little bit. like this there we go Ooh, that's starting to clog up a little bit 
Oh, and now, let's see if that matters any. Oh yeah, that's better. Much better. Look at that. Latex gloves, or whatever you got to show that nature. This stuff is harmful to you, I believe. And again, this is for just the average guy out in the shop. If you guys do restore cars for a living, I'm sure you have a better way. This is $3.50 for that oven cleaner. I don't know what I got in this shop right bad, not much. <laughs> I don't have one. Usually. Every now and then I get lucky. Oh, me. I don't need one, really. Again, I'm just bringing you videos of just some old guy out here in the shop just messing with his cars. Alright, so there you have it. Let me run this thing over and give it a good wash, okay? I'm gonna cut you off for just a second. Okay, guys, there you see it's, uh, it's still wet, but man, what a difference. Look at this side compared to that side. Like I said, it's still wet, but, and these little pits in here, I was taking the scotch bright pad, you can see it's a little thicker up through here. As I was rubbing it, those were getting much better. You can see they're a lot better here than they are, say, here. So I think you take a scotch bright pad and improve those considerably. Uh, that's what they'll turn out to look like, is that right there. They'll still be there, but they're not dark. And then come back and polish it. And uh, man, I think. Uh, but they don't make these, this is 66 Fury Grill, they don't make them anymore, so do a backyard way of trying to restore what you have, get some good uh, stainless or I guess aluminum polish. And uh, so anyhow, I think uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do this side over here. This will be it for this video. And uh, in the comments, if you guys, uh, other than the, you know something that'll help with that even better, uh, I. I've polished on aluminum, so I've got some stuff around here, but like I said, I'm just trying to sell this thing. I don't need it. I don't have a 66 Fury. So, uh, if anybody's interested in the grill, I will sell it. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and clean this side up here too, okay? And I'll give you a, another video, I guess. Maybe that's what I should do. Give you a video after the whole thing's completed. All right, folks. This is going to be made for a long video, but so far, I mean, I'm in this thing with less than $4. <laughs> Okay, folks, that side is done also. Now, it's very dull. It needs to be uh, polished. Maybe hit, hit it with some steel wool. But uh, if you look right here, actually look right here, you'll see it's got, see all these pits? And right here, how clean that is. That's what, I did that with the scotch bright. Just kept rubbing on it. And right in here, I pretty much did this entire section with the scotch bright. Looks a lot better than that right there. See? Kind of did the same thing up in here. It's kind of bad there, but not as bad there. Not as bad there. Kind of bad there. So just keep bad here, not as bad here. So, uh, starting to sound like the eye doctor in them. Anyway, 
I think some steel wool and some polish in this thing will shine start to shine pretty good we may do that on the next installment but for this installment we got that old cruddy looking grill looking halfway decent and uh it'll probably match the, the trim on the rest of the car <laughs> whoever buys it but like i said another the next installment we may experiment with some some steel wool i'll show you the the different uh steel grits is grit the proper word grades maybe whatever but uh for now this is it folks and i got four dollars and still have about a third of a can left all right folks later hit that subscribe hit that like button comment just be cool if you got any suggestions let me know i'd love to hear it